Yeah, I've always wanted to be an artist, man, yeah. It's just been part of me, man. That was all, I was obsessed by it from a young kid. There was, there was nothing else I ever wanted to be. I was just, that's all I was doing in school. I was just messing around, I was just scribbling, and that's all I wanted to do ever. So, it's all I cared about. I was out doing illegal stuff in my area, only in my local area, when I was 10, man. By the time I was 11, I'd been arrested a few times already, man. I'd been arrested, yeah, so many times by that point, even at 11, that my mum got me my first legal water paint at 11 years old, man, which was in a local primary school around the back, and they gave me this water paint. So that was my first kind of legal wall was when I was 11 years old, man. My name's Mr. Sens, and I'm a graffiti artist from London. The image, like the photograph, is the first inspiration. You know, so I look at a photograph and think, oh, the lighting's nice on that, or the angle of that, that, that face is nice. So that's always the first, first thing I start with. And then everything else is like basically freestyle. So I just look at that photograph and just freestyle it, man. You know what I mean? There's no pre plan, no pre drawings or nothing. I kind of develop my a kind of colour palette, you know, as I've developed my style. So there's certain colours I always use, man. But I like to use kind of quite contrasting colours. A lot of kind of earthy, kind of 60s kind of colours. So, um, yeah, again, it's just something that developed my, like, my colour palette. I haven't got any really big pieces in London. Big walls in London are quite hard to find, man. That was offered to me, that wall. So, yeah, I thought, you know, I'm going to go for it. Obviously, I'm from South London as well, so it's good to do something in South London. You know, I like, I like to have a few pieces around my kind of area, you know. Um, so, yeah, the property thing's good. Maybe about four years ago, I just started messing around with faces, but using, combining that with my letter forms, you know, so having like almost like the kind of piece inside the face, you know, like mixing them together, you know. So um, I did like a couple of pieces and people were like, wow, man, you need, that's different. You need to push that. You know, there's a few people who said to me, you need to push that. So I thought, wow, cool, you know what I mean? And then kind of developed it and developed it. And now it's evolved into like a kind of melting pot of everything. I've done over the years, or everything I've experimented with, everything I've kind of been influenced by, it's all come together into my style now, so it's all like clicked organically again, man. It's like, you know, you can't push a style, it has to happen naturally. I just get in the zone, I get in some mad little zone when I'm painting and it just all kind of works out and it all comes together. Kind of like break down the colour of the skin into like all these mad colours, you know what I mean? I don't know, it's like taking an acid trip and looking at a photograph and then I paint it. So I suppose if, you know what I mean, because I don't let anything like the photograph, but it looks like some crazed drug fueled version of the photograph, you know what I mean? You know, there shouldn't be a big like divide between street art and graffiti art, I don't think, man. I like to try and kind of, you know, build the kind of bridges and sit, you know what I mean? So, um, but still, yeah, yeah, graffiti is my, you know, that's my roots, so.